All right, well, the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. is getting a lot of backlash after students and employees from a Greenville school were asked to remove their hats. 7 News reporter Taylor Farmer shows you how local lawmakers are now stepping in. Students from an upstate Catholic school, Our Lady of the Rosary, have now filed a civil lawsuit against the Smithsonian Museum after reportedly being kicked out for wearing pro-life beanies. State leaders across the country, and especially in South Carolina, are now weighing in. It's absolutely ridiculous, and the individual employees have been reprimanded, and their superiors have said that it shouldn't have happened. Um, I was shocked when I first heard. Members of Congress representing South Carolina, like Representative Timmons, Ralph Norman, and Jeff Duncan, as well as Senators Tim Scott and Lindsey Graham, sent a letter to the Secretary of the Smithsonian, Lonnie Bunch, requesting a response to a set of questions by February 16th. Senator Lindsey Graham's office shared that letter with 7 News, which states in part, quote, as a federal entity and the recipient of $1 billion in federal funds every year, there should be no debate as to whether the First Amendment applies to the Smithsonian. We are deeply concerned about this unjust expulsion of young Americans from museums subsidized with taxpayers' dollars for wearing apparel that your staff disagreed with. We still sent a letter uh, to confirm that Everything that I suspect is true is true, and we're going to get answers in writing, but um, it should never have happened. It's absolutely ridiculous, and it will never happen again. The American Center for Law and Justice is representing nine students and three parents who they believed were unceremoniously booted from the Federal Museum. Olivia Summers, representing the Senior Litigations Council, says their clients are pleased with support they have received. Our clients have really appreciated uh, their representatives coming behind them and showing support, also indicating that this was unconstitutional behavior, was not condoned, and that it needs to be corrected. Despite what will now transpire with the civil lawsuit, Timmons went on to add he is glad with the corrective actions that are now being taken. For now, reporting in Greenville, Taylor Farmer, 7 News.